What's up, amigos? Happy Halloween, but don't go to that guy's house. It's a waste of time. He's giving out expired candies from last year. The guy dressed as the pirate, John Alvarado. He's, uh... (laughs) He does have some new things to offer. There is Amico news, though, okay? I want you to understand. There is some Amico news you can celebrate, uh, if that's what you're into. I'll start off with the biggest things, the headlines. Uh, apparently, Amico Home is real, and it is already on the App Store privately for those private testers to look at, meaning Rich from Bacon Ice Cream. Is looking at it. Um, and guess what? John Alvarado said that within like a week, maybe two weeks, he was saying on or before Halloween, he would hope it will be going to the Google Play Store as, um, you know, like open, open testing. Like we can all have it to play, apparently is what he's saying. It's the section called Be the First to Try uh, section. So keep your eyes peeled for that and, you know, let me know if you see it. I looked already. It's not there. But apparently there's a section called Be the First to Try where you will be able to play Amico Home. Uh, I don't know if it'll cost or it'll be free or what, but I I think it would be free, right? Because you're trying it, right? So... um, Now, I mean, this is going to be, you're playing it with your phone as the controller. So if you download this, have your second phone ready because you're not going to use the phone that downloaded it to play the game. You'll be plugging that into your TV and then using your second phone as the controller. Keep that in mind. Um... But yeah, it's supposed to be out there for everybody. They don't call it the phone controller. They they like to call it the mobile controller. But if you hear them saying that, that's what it means. Um, And then he confirmed later, like Amico Home would be free, and that the games would cost cost money. I mean, within it, so it's like a launching app, and then within it, the games cost money. Uh, But uh, yeah, apparently it's happening. Uh, John also confirmed what titles will be coming to Amico Home, and that is Missile Command, Side Swipers, Shark Shark, Astro Smash, Dart Frenzy. So I don't know if if those will be playable on this uh, Be the First to Try open testing thing or not, but he mentioned those. Um, Another thing is he said that the Amico Club website will be debuting soon and that people who have the physical games, the physical products, if you've got those games, you'll be able to register your serial numbers to get a free Android game. Now, he wasn't like clearly specific. I didn't quite understand what Alvarado meant, Um, but... He basically said a free Android game. I don't know if that means you'll get the game that's on the box. uh, Because I think some of them weren't really finished. So I think that they'll get you some kind of game. I have no idea. Okay? So it was unclear. But he did also say if you have a $100 deposit on the Amico console, you will be getting... Uh, that will get you a way to have the download of the games that were supposed to come with that console. Um, right? So, <laughs> whatever the packing games were, you, you will be able to get those as they come out on Amico Home if you have a, a pre-order, I, I guess, still, a $100 deposit in pre-order, I guess, okay? So, there's that, okay? I, I mean, listen, I'm not, I don't want you guys to have to get your news about this from me, like a weird stoner that that barely understands it. I don't want that either. I'm sorry. Nobody else is really covering this, but th- this is the way you're getting it. I'm trying my best here, so give me a break. Um, but you could watch, you could watch Amico Forever. This is the Halloween episode. I'll get right into it. That Those are the big news things, uh, as they are. Uh, I'll get into reviewing this episode. 
But you can watch it. If I was you, I would start around like the 55 minute mark and then maybe to like hour and 20, hour and 30. That's the meat of it. Um, maybe even like the 58 minute mark to like hour and 15. Those are, I was like, that's kind of the juicy part of this. Uh, it was, this is as far as I understand, as far as I remember, this is the first time we saw Alvarado just hanging out on screen with these guys, um, as like an actual part of this show, Amico Forever. So it was weird. It was awkward. Um, <laughs> he was like just participating as a member of the show. So he was wearing a costume and trying to be funny. That's why I say you got to skip to 55 minutes because he literally hung out there in character as this pirate character for like friggin' an hour or so doing kind of a weird voice. And, uh, he was, he was, he was like talking around it as pretending he was his own cousin. So there was that and it was strange, but, but that's what happened. And, um, he made some awkward jokes because he was, okay, let me first say the pirate thing. We didn't invent that. That's not, that's not an invention of the haters or, or, or anything like that. Alvarado pirate ship started actually because, Alvarado's mustache was like on Tommy Tallarico's radar. He was always talking about Alvarado's mustache. And so, so people asked why he had the mustache or some shit like that. I think they were fishing to find out if he was gay, which he's not. He's like conservative. But, um, well, not that you can't be gay and conservative, but he, he's, he's into something called men's rights. <laughs> I don't know, man. I know too much about Alvarado already, don't I? But, um, but okay. So he, so he was like, oh, I grew the mustache because one Halloween I decided I was going to be a pirate. And so I grew a mustache and my wife got super wet for it. (laughs) My wife was like super hot for this shit. So I kept it. Oh, oh, I think I saw at the beginning of this in the beginning of this Amico Forever, we I think we saw uh, John Alvarado's wife walk by. Or may have been like a different woman in his house. A different woman in his house or his wife walk, walked by behind him. So that was funny. So he was like, hey, my wife liked the mustache, so I kept it. It's a little bit of a suspicious mustache, if you ask me. Because the goatee is so white. He must be dyeing it. So I, that's fine. You want to dye your mustache and curl it at the ends? I don't know. It's Don't... You shouldn't... It's not a personality trait. It's just it's just a mustache, but uh, there it is. And so that's where Pirate Alvarado really really starts. He he maybe he's playing into us, but I don't think so. But maybe, but maybe there are hints that he was playing into us because he made weird jokes about like gold. But then that's just like pirate stock shit too. So he was saying like retro rich. Oh, so it was like a Spanish accent, but not a full Spanish accent. He was like. Retro Rich, do you, call, do they call you rich because you have a lot of gold and silver? So it's like fucking weird. Fucking weird. And then he was like, uh, he was like, DJC, you have a lot of different types of candies. Is that because you are a wealthy man? <laughs> it was like weird. Like, are you asking these guys for money? Like, do, are you aware that it's awkward for you to be on here asking these guys for money, or are you playing into that because you think we're going to make fun of you for that? Although it's been two days and nobody's really talking about this but me because now I feel compelled because this is like where we started. This is like where the Amico shit started and and there weren't enough people talking about it and I had to come out here and talk about it to get other people to look at this, but I haven't checked Reddit. Maybe they are talking about it. Um, Sweet and Tender said he cut this up. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully you guys will get to see a sweet and tender thing about it and maybe Tony TGD will go over it or maybe me or somebody else will go over it again. But there's a lot here. A lot happened in this one. Um, um, Oh, yeah, we had Rich, Retro Rich Bacon Ice Cream was talking about he's been testing this thing because he has a Miko home. He's been testing it like crazy on all different kinds of apps which is weird because Alvarado's like, yeah, well, I'm about to dump it on the beta testers. The real, you know, everybody can test it like next week. But he's like, yeah, I've been testing it at work. And 
is fucked up because he's like, well, some games have a bit of a weird oddity. Like, he didn't want to say it, but some of the games apparently are fucked up. And then he's like, yeah, if you're on, like, a public Wi-Fi network, some of the games are kind of fucked up. And he didn't explain what was fucked up about them or anything like that. But he was just like, there's a weird oddity. Either there are just some network issues. And DJC tried to jump in. Like, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's the network. Yeah, it's fine. Like, it was very awkward. They didn't explain it. But apparently something's fucked up. So, I mean, of course, right? Um, Alvarado, he talked directly about... As a pirate, he was like, they are my cousin, John Alvarado. He's testing this on the NVIDIA Shield, and it works. So that was uh, weird. Um, but yeah, NVIDIA Shield, right? It's a, People say the, the main computer inside is like the same thing as a Nintendo Switch. So that would be good, right? <laughs> Get the shit on Nintendo Switch where you can make some money, right? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with... A, a line of Switch games that... There's nothing really wrong with a line of Switch games that you can use your phone as controllers for. It's not the worst idea. It's just everything you guys did before makes us not trust you or, like, want to be down with you. So that's that's where we're at right now. Um, but, I mean, if I can test it next week and it seems okay, hey, fuck it, maybe. Uh, Alvarado got into, like, saying... That he is still working on the uh, Amico Mobile controller apps. And that that's where you use your phone as a controller. Amico Home is where you use your console as... A, a, your phone as a console is Amico Home. And then using your phone as a controller is the Amico Mobile <laughs> controller app. Okay, so... There's that. And so he said he's still working on it, that it's functional and everything, but he's, he's improving it because if it doesn't, he kind of, it almost sounds like he was like abandoning the, the hardware controllers for the Amico. Cause he was just kind of like, well, if it doesn't need to be one-to-one to the Amico controller, I can actually make it better. Like I, there's more, he said, there's more, um, resolution, higher resolution on the touch screen. So like I never, I never thought about touching a screen as resolution but i guess yeah that's the same thing as when you look at a screen resolution like there's more real estate for your finger to travel across so he can actually make missile command work tighter this kind of theoretical thing he's saying and it's kind of like okay i i get that i kind of on board with that yeah my phone is more powerful than an amico controller therefore like if it's just gonna be based around my phone and a switch now then yeah I mean, that got me into thinking, like, this whole thing where it's like, is this about Intellivision anymore? Like, not really, because, like, we know Tallarico's gone. He's, Tallarico is not really, he, he was the CEO, right? So chief executive officer. Then he got put down to the CCO, chief creative officer. And he's still, like, on the top of the website of the staff. And then it's like, well, what did you create? Like, in the meantime between him being CCO and now, now he's just the founder. And he's at, like, the bottom of the website of staff. It just says founder. And, like, so I think they're having problems with him. But he was, like, Mr. I'm into Intellivision. Like, that was his job to relate it all back to the original Intellivision. Like, Alvarado could give two fucks. So Alvarado's moving it on to, like, yeah, I'm getting this shit working on NVIDIA Shield, and you're going to use your phone as a controller. I mean, meanwhile, DJC, Mulis, Bacon Ice Cream are cheerleading like crazy. Shilling like crazy in this episode. So much fucking shilling. Just, just wild. Like, and, and it's that emotional shilling, you know, and Bill Fisher, the Intellivision employee, and Kevin Alvarado, Intellivision employee, who everyone thought he was related to John Alvarado, but apparently that's the one who's, they tell me he's not related to Alvarado. Um, but, but, but those guys are in the chat and it's like this emotional cheerleading where it's like, I've really seen this console bring families together. Like I've really seen this put smile on children's faces. This is important work we're doing. Like this is important stuff. And Mulis is hammering that in. Mulis is like, yeah, this is like really like, we really got to do this because, like, it's really bringing my kids together and their friends come over and they're all having a great time. Um, Eulis said some funny shit about how he brought his 
Amico to Mexico on vacation and he brought it on like a Royal Caribbean cruise and shit and that that made me laugh it's just like why man like enjoy your fucking cruise what the fuck you like on a cruise go fucking eat and walk around and do other shit the fuck you playing Amico home like <laughs> fuck like whatever um DJC said like oh whatever like I don't want to tell you say anything bad about anyone but You know, people aren't really reviewing the Intellivision games that are out very well because they're not playing a multiplayer. Like, this is, you have to play this with four people and blah, 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 blah. So, like, they got into, like, just the the theory of it. Like, you need to play this with multiple people or it's no fucking good. It's like, well, then maybe it should have been inside of Dave & Buster's, like... (laughs) You know, maybe having it on the phone isn't the best place to have it, right? If it's for for everyone. Because now I have to plug it into a TV and then get other phones. And Rich is telling me there's a weird oddity if I'm on a network. (laughs) Like, oh, yikes. But, you know, it it, it is what it is. Um, Alvarado said weird shit about, like, he kind of mentioned, like, we're, I want to talk to uh, manufacturers of tablets to see if we could bundle the Amico controllers and, and bundle the games as a pack-in. And it's like, wait, didn't you just say, like, you moved past the Amico controllers? But no, because, like I said, um, Mulis was doubling down, like, no, the console's not over. Like, I'm still hard at work testing the console. And they're like, yeah, no, the console's important. Mulis tried to relate it and say it's like Xbox. He's like, it's play anywhere, just like Xbox. You can play it on your fucking phone. You can play it on your Switch. You can play it on your Amico. And they're like, yeah, the Amico is a cool device. Like, it's got the lights. It's got everything. So they 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 they, they hammered in. Like, Amico is not done, but um, it, it's still, you know, this is still a thing. Um, and the controllers matter still, but, um, so, I, I mean, keep an eye out for Amico Club website, he said that would come out very soon too, within a week or so, but, you know, there's, it's, it's Amico, there'll probably be a lot of delays, um, then, and then Alvarado was saying, you know, Amico Home is a step in the direction of getting an investment revenue, right, like, oh yeah, once Amico Home is a hit, Then we'll get the investors to to give us money to get the consoles out there. Or, or, you know, we might just make enough money to do it ourselves. Like, very pie in the sky. Like, very probably not, not, not something that's possible. But he he said it. Um, there was talk about, uh, virtual skins. Because, you know, now, now it's the Miko mobile app controller. So you're going to have virtual skins on your phone and there's different ones and um, you'll have a skin collection. And, and that brought Atari Creep wasn't on the show, but he was in the chat. He was like, skin collection? Like Ed Gein's? <laughs> that was really fucking funny. <laughs> but I don't know. Atari Creep, you have time to be there in the chat, but you don't want to be on the show. I mean, I don't know. We're getting big Amico news. You don't want to be on the show? Like, it's coming out, man. It's it's making its way to the fucking... We're all going to have it, apparently, in a couple weeks, right? Like, we're all going to be able to do this shit, right? But, um, <laughs> I mean... I don't know. There's no Tommy. There's no Amico. It's just the games. Um, okay, a really weird thing. A really weird thing. Alvarado, John Alvarado, told us, the audience, that he made a cat fighter just for DJC. Like, he made one of those little globe icons that said cat fighter. And then if you clicked on it, it had a picture of fucking Art Bigfall, which is, if you don't know, that's a DJC character. Uh, and, and it was like, oh, coming never. So he like, it programmed a fucking meme into the console the DJC had. So whatever what, so we had all these theories. I don't know. Oh, did DJC get, do they not, are they not able to flash things to the Amico that they sent out to DJC? Apparently they did. And John Alvarado used his time and energy to program a fucking meme in there for DJC about DJC's channel and Catfighter and shit, which is just fucking so weird. And it shows you the importance of DJC. Like this random ass YouTuber, the only guy who really likes this thing. Like if you are one of the few people who still like this thing, they will pay very close attention to you, which is extreme. And I mean, I have to assume they're watching this video because what the fuck? Like they're they're This is where it's at. Like they, they are deep into the YouTube lore. They're, they're talking about art big fall. And this is where they're promoting 
This is where he's telling everybody that this is going open beta. Like, this is the launching point. An hour after them talking about, after an hour of him dressed as a pirate, talking about what their favorite candies are, he he decides to, to drop the news that this shit's going open beta, which is fine, but that's just a fucking weird, just a weird situation, right? I mean, it's like, this is why we, we clung to this thing, because it's just too accessible, isn't it? It's just, it's, it's weirdly accessible. Um, I mean, it's like, you want to know why Atari Creep wasn't there? Let's fucking ask him, right? Like, I'm not, I'm not, like, I'm not suggesting you harass or hound Atari Creep, but if you want to know something, you can just start asking around and you'll find out. That's what's so weird about this situation, and this is supposed to be, like, a quote-unquote console launch, but now... When you look at it, it's like, oh no, this is more like an experimental app launch. Okay, actually, it sounds kind of reasonable what's happening. Yeah, okay, now it makes sense why it's just like this dude and like, you know, this juggalo rapper and like <laughs> this 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 guy, Atari Creep, and this guy, Mulis, and yeah, these guys. Although no, Mulis, Mulis is like, I'm a pro game tester, bro. Like, I have experience, like... I'm next level, man. I'm the next level gamer. But um, they were all really eager to promote their Rumble channels. That happened a lot earlier, too. Like, they want to get the fuck off YouTube. Um, I don't know if it's the response, if they're politics. But they're like, we're, we want to get off YouTube. The Rumble response is great. We love Rumble. Um, and so Mike Mulis announced November 4th on Rumble only. He will be doing a, a Miko... Uh, it's an Amico multiplayer stream with his kids. And uh, hilariously enough, he was like, I don't know if I'm going to do cornhole. Seth gets kind of salty when we do cornhole or <laughs> some shit like that. <laughs> so that was really funny. He was like, I don't know if I, I don't know if we can do that one. Like, uh. and it's just, it is Rumble. And he was like, he was like, Rumble is very family oriented. And so that's kind of funny because it's got that, like, um, people say that's where conservative like uh conspiracy shit is like QAnon and this is like it's got the, it's got a real family thing I don't know I don't know I don't go on rumble I don't I do not I do not do any shit but not to say I won't one day I I I once upon a time I said I wouldn't go on discord and now I'm on discord so I mean who knows I'm not planning on it but um I don't need to join Rumble to see, I don't need to see Mules' kid play this shit. I'm good, whatever. Like, I understand it for what it is. It was hard enough to get through this Amico forever, and it, it was chock full of Amico news. So, that's that's really it. Um, those are the, the big things. Again, I hope somebody else covers this with clips and stuff. I didn't really want to clip it. It's, I'm lazy. Um, I did take notes, though, for you, because there was so much. So, you, you got that. So now you know, you can look into it yourself if you care. Um, but I, hopefully, this is more you know, just 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 be aware that, that this shit's coming out on on something else on on apparently this shit's coming out on Google Play Store and you're gonna be able to test it. So keep your fingers crossed and your eyes peeled for that. And have an amico day. <laughs>